It's Monday, and almost all the spoil has gone. The work of removing it goes on. But attention is turning quickly toward the delivery of gravel. Trucks come and go, but one arrival is of particular interest. This big cat, a D6 bulldozer, is making a return to site after an absence. There's no delay in it joining the work of spreading gravel. Nearby, a concrete pumper is setting up, ready to pour the remaining sections of the west wall. Before very long, the first concrete is flowing. And all the while, gravel is arriving and being managed. Overall, in particularly good conditions, progress is being made on every front. The decision is made, in very dry conditions, to spread water on the gravel to increase compaction. The concrete pour continues throughout the day. Even as the pumper finishes its work and folds its arm, the gravel keeps coming. The pace does not slacken on Tuesday. Regular deliveries of gravel keep everybody busy. Working closely together, the bulldozer and the roller compactor make short work of each load. Over in the northwest corner, the state of the formwork and the reinforcing rod makes it clear that concrete will soon arrive.
Meanwhile, at the other end of the West Wall, by Bath Road, gravel continues to arrive, building the base up to a mark that can be seen on the walls. When the concrete arrives, it's once again very much a team effort to keep it flowing smoothly and consistently. And the finish is always very important. With the dry conditions persisting, the water truck makes another visit to the site. Beyond the steady effort to raise the gravel bed, forms are being lifted from the area of the west wall poured on Monday. Gravel shaping remains the highest priority, although there is always time for a little bit of movement of spoil. High winds and forecast heavy rain made Wednesday a rain day. Thursday was an altogether better day, but there were some surprises. The purpose of the clearly engineered depressions will become clear in due course. Near the concrete foundations, poured on Tuesday and still curing, Work continued to remove the forms on the north end of the west wall. Some wooden sections can be a little harder to remove than others. The telehandler plays an important part in moving heavy components around. There's an interesting development on the south wall where the outside is being built up. The work progresses quickly. On the main area of the site, work on compaction and gravel grading continues guided invariably by gradesmen and the marks they leave. All of these activities reflect an enormous amount of foresight, planning, preparation and coordination, as well as all the skills the craftsmen and women possess. Friday morning sees the last of the forms coming off the west wall. Some a little more reluctantly than others. It's no surprise to see that the gravel continues to roll in. Precise position and placement rely on constant checking and reference to the plans. Work on the gravel has been so strong and consistent that it must lead to the belief that we could soon see a finer layer of gravel delivered to top off the base. It was interesting to note on Friday that work had begun to extend northwards the original east wall. One of Friday's last tasks was to begin clearing the way 
for a new pipe run. No doubt it will be another busy week next week, and if you want to know what happens, please consider subscribing to this channel. Thanks for watching this week. <laughs>